Hello everyone, welcome, good morning, I'm Joey Bridges, yes, we do these in the morning, so that's why I said that. I'm Joey Bridges, I am joined by my brother James, he's still waiting to get his chance to do the introduction. Only when Joe's not here. Yeah, that, uh, that's probably the only chance yeah. to get him. Okay, today, now we've been having some very interesting calls, again, all week we set aside a portion of our schedule uh, to speak with people one-on-one, uh, -on -one just to, let me just get over there, James, one-on-one, -on, -one on what their business is, how it's going, and how they can improve. What we've noticed, and this may be a direct result of the economy, is people are spending, but not spending nearly enough to get a to generate the kind of goals that they have and that they have for themselves. And also on that same note, they're sometimes spending in the wrong direction. Oh, uh, that's, meaning that's a lot. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a lot. I mean, they're like uh, goodwill intention spending, mm -hmm. uh, but without uh, a mechanism to hold that money accountable. Uh, and this goes, by the way, for Facebook. This goes for your Google advertising. This goes for print advertising. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Without uh, a mechanism to hold that money accountable, just throwing two to four hundred dollars a month at something doesn't mean it will generate you business. Uh, you know, so you got to look on. Hey, you know, what is that bringing you? Sometimes it's a tangible item like uh, leads. Sometimes it's hey, uh, okay, well I have a search engine strategy, so I'm paying, and I know X months uh, that I have to hit you know, this certain uh, level or I'll bail out. But without having any mechanism in place, you're just throwing money at something. Now, James, I love Facebook because it's a way to connect with people. It's a way to reach out to people. Here's also some of the problems that come up. Because Facebook is, for the most part, free, people believe, uh, well, look, I just have to be there and just do a bunch of free activities. You can. You absolutely can. And what James and I outline for all our clients is a plan that, well, it's crazy enough when you do it, it actually works. You have to do it. You also have to value your time. So, yes, it's free. Yes, you can do it. However, it does take time. And that's uh, James's uh, very robust 12 days and 12 boys reports that's always being worked on and added to and enhanced. However, what we've noticed, uh, a lot of calls lately, I've been helping, uh, you know, one-on-one -on, -one on the phone with people who are doing Facebook ads. I love Facebook ads. In fact, I think a member, we're doing a member call this week on it, James. Uh, but it is... It's about preparing, and and let me just be, Jamie, can I be direct be in direct. these videos? Yeah. If you are thinking that you can spend $50 a month on Facebook ads and turn that into $5,000 on a regular recurring basis, you make it lucky once, you are kind of kidding yourself. I mean, I'm not trying to mean, I, I we did the same thing back when James and I started in the garage. We thought 50 bucks, you know, was enough to turn into lots and lots of money. It's a start. And it's a great place to start. And we're not saying you should start big. We're not saying that. However, hold the money accountable, but understand where it's going to go. Understand how many you know leads you have a chance to get to it. And I'll say, uh, since Facebook ads are still very new in their mm -hmm. life cycle, uh, I would say one of the benefits... Uh, you know, and challenges with Facebook ads is uh, you can go through your money very quickly. quickly. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, on that note, that means you get a test very quickly. Uh, so you could spend 50 bucks and go through that in a week, but at that point, you'll find out, hey, how's your fan page converting? How many people are getting to click like? How many people uh, were able to convert into actual leads? And then if you're really lucky, maybe you have a short buying cycle uh, in your business, maybe how many people that 50 bucks could result in a sale. Uh, but it's very, very key when you're doing Facebook ads. I didn't say if. When you're doing Facebook ads, to have some key metrics because uh, that's what Joe's been working uh, with some serious one-on-one -on, -one on people saying hey look let's either scale the budget back yep. let's know our numbers and let's really make these Facebook ads work for us. Didn't I know some interest our switch continues to hold true yeah so for every you know like right for every four likes you get tw you know one of those is gonna opt in on a switch it's hold consistent yeah. across industries across the entire spectrum it is held uh, that for every four likes you're gonna get one database lead in other words, when, you know, you, you can basically get it, we can get it down to a complete math game. So it's been pretty cool. So that's how we want you to look at your Facebook. That's how we want you to look at what you're spending money on. Now, we were talking about Facebook, but as James mentioned, your Google ads, your print ads, your mail, anything that you're doing, it has to be a math equation. How much you're spending to what the return is. Know your numbers. That's what we want you to know today. All right. On behalf of James, I'm Joey Bridges. To your success with your Facebook marketing efforts.